Dot. The Netherlands windmill, also known as the Dutch windmill, has a long and rich history dating back to the 13th century. The windmill was developed in the Netherlands as a way to harness the power of the wind for various purposes, including grinding grain, sawing timber, and pumping water. The earliest windmills in the Netherlands were simple, post-style mills that were built on top of mounds of earth or stone. These mills had wooden sails that could be adjusted to capture the wind and turn the millstones or saw blades inside the mill. As technology advanced, the Dutch began to build more complex windmills, including the tower mill, which had a brick or stone tower and a cap that could be rotated to face the wind. By the 17th century, windmills had become an integral part of Dutch life, and there were thousands of them scattered throughout the country. Windmills were used to grind grain into flour for bread, to saw timber for building, and to pump water out of the low-lying areas of the Netherlands to prevent flooding. During the Industrial Revolution, many windmills were replaced by steam-powered mills and factories. However, windmills remained an important part of Dutch culture and heritage, and efforts were made to preserve and restore them. Today, there are still over 1,000 windmills in the Netherlands, many of which are open to visitors as museums or working mills. The Netherlands windmill has become an iconic symbol of Dutch ingenuity and innovation, and it remains an important part of the country's history and culture. The Netherlands windmill has also played a crucial role in the country's economy and infrastructure. The mills were used to power a range of industries, from paper mills and oil presses to breweries and distilleries. They were also used to drain water from the polders, the low-lying areas of the country that are vulnerable to flooding. The development of windmills in the Netherlands was driven by a number of factors, including the country's flat landscape, abundance of wind, and innovative spirit. The Dutch were pioneers in the field of windmill technology, and they made a number of important innovations, including the use of a governor mechanism to regulate the speed of the mill, and the addition of a brake to stop the mill in high winds. The windmill has also had an impact on Dutch art and literature. Many famous paintings and drawings depict windmills, including works by Vincent van Gogh and Jacob van Roosdale. Windmills have also been featured in Dutch literature, including the children's classic The Windmill by Peter Bruegel. Today, the Netherlands windmill continues to be an important part of the country's landscape and culture. While many of the mills have been replaced by modern technology, they remain an enduring symbol of Dutch ingenuity and innovation. They are also a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world who are fascinated by their history and functionality. The engineering behind the Netherlands windmill is both simple and sophisticated. The basic design of the windmill consists of a tower or post with a rotating cap, which is equipped with sails or blades that are designed to capture the wind and turn a mechanism inside the mill. One of the key engineering innovations in the Dutch windmill was the use of a governor mechanism to regulate the speed of the mill. This mechanism consists of a pair of spring-loaded weights that are attached to the wind shaft, the main shaft of the mill. As the wind speed increases, the weights move outward, causing the sails to adjust their angle and slow down the rotation of the mill. This ensures that the mill operates at a consistent speed, regardless of the wind conditions. Another important innovation was the addition of a brake to stop the mill in high winds. The brake consists of a wooden lever that is attached to a pivot at the top of the mill. When the brake lever is pulled down, it engages a wooden brake block against the rim of the brake wheel, which is mounted on the wind shaft. This stops the rotation of the sails and prevents damage to the mill in high winds. The design of the Dutch windmill also includes a range of other sophisticated features, such as the use of wooden gears to transfer the power from the sails to the millstones or other mechanisms inside the mill. These gears are designed with precise tolerances and carefully lubricated to ensure that they operate smoothly and efficiently. Overall, the engineering behind the Netherlands windmill is a testament to the ingenuity and innovation of the Dutch people. Despite its simplicity, the windmill is a highly sophisticated machine that has played a crucial role in the country's history and culture. Here are some interesting facts about the Netherlands windmill. The Dutch windmill was developed in the 13th century and has been an important part of Dutch life ever since. At their peak in the 19th century, there were over 10,000 windmills in the Netherlands. Windmills were used for a variety of purposes, including grinding grain, sawing timber, and pumping water out of low-lying areas to prevent flooding. The iconic blades of the windmill are made of wood and can be up to 30 meters long.
The sails of the windmill are equipped with shutters that can be opened or closed to regulate the amount of wind that is captured. The windmill has become an enduring symbol of Dutch culture and heritage, and is featured prominently in art and literature. The Dutch windmill is also known for its innovative engineering, including the use of a governor mechanism to regulate the speed of the mill and a brake to stop the mill in high winds. The Netherlands windmill was added to the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage in 2017. The Dutch word for windmill is molen, and the country's largest windmill is the Donolet Distillery Windmill, which is located in Shidam.